right now. You are not fascist. So please stop trying to sound like you're smart. Can I dab on that? But he's still a fascist just because he stole the name socialism that doesn't mean he was actually a socialist. No, I do not agree that Nazism is socialism. Nazism is fascist. Donald Trump. Goodbye. Goodbye. You lose! You lose! Hey, let's talk. Uh, I would like to ask you if I may. I'm an uh, independent media. I mean, I still talk to you. I'm not hitting this. My name is Sam Kanzi. And I'm interested in knowing, uh, and I'm interested in your opinion on the uh, the fact, because you were right about them being different in terms of the way they're applied to the government, socialism and fascism. But what are your concerns? Forget about the racism side of fascism. What are your concerns about the, the, the implications of fascism and socialism often lead down the same economic road? Uh, well, no, because like I told that other guy, there are a lot of democrat socialist countries in Europe right now that are nowhere near fascism. So you telling me that Norway is on its way to fascism? No, That's, no, no, no. But there are socialist countries. So you're say, you just sat there and told me that socialism and fascism lead down the same road. That's not even no, I'm saying economically they <laughs> No. Sitting. What is a socialist Get country that is doing good economically? Norway, I just named one. Norway. But Norway also has a waiting list for surgeries and they have some kind of abortions to take up to three weeks to get. have a low population of And uh, major, some, if you're not dying, sometimes you can't get a surgery. Do you worry that that could be the case? No, I don't. But we, we actually have a pretty shitty health care system compared to a lot of other countries. France has one of the best, and they spend one of the uh, least per capita per person on their health care. They have one of the best ranked in the world. Uh, France has opened our policy, though, due to uh, many numbers, particularly in the Wall Street Journal, is saying that the, the oh. socialistic practices of medicine mixed with open door policy immigration is actually crushing our medical economy. Uh, so you're promoting xenophobic policy? Uh, promoting proper vetting. Proper vetting. Well, let's see. We came here and stole a bunch of lands from Native Americans and pushed them into reservations and took this land and now we're worried about other people coming and doing the same to us? Well, I think my answer to that would be you have to remember that the Indians would have slaughtered the white man if they weren't already. So? They would have already They should have slaughtered us. Look at the fuck we're doing to this place. That's if you don't suck. like it, then get With out. With respect to that's not what I mean. I'm saying, and as you can see, I'm part of The Indians were fighting each other amongst themselves and slaughtering each other to such a large degree before we got here. That's why they didn't mow over just a handful of settlers. Um, they didn't, they couldn't because smallpox killed 90% of the population. Yes, but they were divided for I mean, tribalism and tribes fighting against each other is like small potatoes compared to 90% of them dying from smallpox and the white people basically mowing over this land, taking it for themselves that already belong to other people. Okay, I, in closing then, I appreciate your time. You're listening to The Correct Views. This is brought to you by Neopa Radio. I wanted to ask, what would be then the prime way to, to some, uh, you probably much voting for Hillary, but whoever you're voting for, what would be the best way for them to outline a system where people come in and we can make sure we're not taking it? Well, actually, I'm for open border policy. So, I mean, <laughs> imperialism is a problem. Capitalism is a problem because it promotes income inequality. If conditions are better in other countries, if people had living wages all over, then perhaps people wouldn't be like wanting so bad to come here where the wages are higher. And then we have employers exploiting the fact that they're illegal by paying them less than minimum wage federally, so they can't live either. I mean, it's a fucked up system. But your idea is to vet them instead of fixing the reason why this shit's all broken in the first place, and it's not because people want to come here and make higher wages than the exploited way that capitalism, uh, you know, destroys their economy. Because we have American, we have American companies setting up shop in other countries for cheap exploited labor, and then their local economies don't see that money, that money goes right to the U.S. corporations. I mean, that's the problem. It's not that people are coming here.
if it's not that people are going in down. If, if, yeah, I know my lot, I don't know if I get I'm not going to get, assume that you're a Bernie. If, but if you are, um, that is the one area where Bernie and Trump tend to agree, is that NAFTA is creating what Ralph Perot called that huge sucking sound. Except for Bernie Sanders is not promoting a wall. No, but I'm just asking, are you against that? I don't know what my opinion on NAFTA is because there are pros and cons, and I think it could have worked if there wasn't such a problem with exploitation of labor. But that's a problem, so NAFTA didn't work the way it was supposed to in a lot of ways. So there's opinions from both sides, friends. I wish to have a website or anything you wish to get out online. It's, 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 um, it's just people. I have a blog, it's called uh, Musing, Musings of the Beckles, and it's on We have a system that's fine. All right, thank you so much. My name is Sam DeGangi, and you can find us on the correct page. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you.